Um, so, oops. Um, in summary, just to sum it up, glyphosate use is no longer limited to GMO foods. It's um, pervasive and rising fast. And glyphosate causes gut dysbiosis and a whole um, roster of chronic disease. And now even organic foods contain some glyphosate. So eat organic, wild, and grass-fed as much as possible. And thank you for coming. I hope I didn't scare you too much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How did you get interested in this topic as a nutritionist? Like what was well, I eat food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I have kids. Yeah. Um, very interested in them being healthy and me being healthy. Mm -hmm. um, did you start to see like a lot of sickness in your practice as a nutritionist? Or I mean, there's gut interest? stuff. There's so much gut stuff. Everyone has it. Um, there's I'm very interested in autism. Just I mean, my kids are fine, but you can see their peers in school. It's it is scary. I've, this wasn't like this when I was a kid. It was just not. Yeah. It's really an epidemic, and nobody's calling it that, mm -hmm. which it needs to be called. So it's just like glyphosate is a big part of it. I know there's, way, there's a ton of other chemicals, too, that are a problem. And I think this is a really urgent one that we really need to get banned, like, as soon as possible. Yeah, you ever walk into your Lowe's or Home Depot and open a tap and just pour it on the floor? I have been tempted so many times. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days it's going to happen. <laughs> and just tell everybody not to buy it. That's the main thing. <laughs> yes. When you were listing those uh, metabolisms that it, for some reason organic, such as cashew and uh, amy, mm -hmm. was that just for those cashew and amy products or was that just a sample? Um, like you mean? Whole Foods, Back to Nature, those are all organic. And they even have, I believe, the non-GMO label on it. Uh, yeah. Was, was that just those products? Or was that just the sampling right now? These are the, br the actual brands. So if it's a different brand, I don't know. This is, um. No, what I'm saying is any, okay? Yeah. Right. But, uh, like Cashy, you listed one product. Uh, the next screen. On the next screen. Back to Nature is an organic, non-GMO yeah. product. Yeah. Is it just the crispy cheddar crackers, or is it was that just one listing of Back to Nature products? Was that just a, is this just a sampling right here? I think it's a sampling. I mean, um, who did this? I think this was published on herb, herbsandhealth.net. Um, actually, yeah, it's a FDA registered lab. I think they just tested whatever is listed there. Um, but yeah, if these are organic, then you can see how much it's already in organic foods. That's um, maybe if you go to this website and um, I don't know who else is testing products, but there, there's more people starting to test for glyphosate now. So hopefully we'll get more data. <coughs> okay. Oh. The farmers, if you have a farm, earn $15 from anybody else. And also, if you want to get yourself tested for glyphosate, there's a metric bio.org. Uh, you can get a kit, and it's, it's not very expensive. Uh -huh. uh, no association. Of the, of the Just remember that some of the glyphosate is tied up in your proteins, and they're not going to, they're not able to test that. But yeah, that's great. What's it, what's it called again? metricbio.org. Okay, thank you. And you can also just go to the, find this link, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, just get it to everybody you know. Just, um, if you want this PowerPoint to give in your community, I'm happy to send it to you. I think just as m the more this gets out, the more we're creating the demand for change. So it's really, the information is power. So, yeah. Any more? Thank you. Thank you.